Hi, my name is Ralph and I live in the Panama Republic and in this video I'm going to show you how I was able to rescue two lovely little birds. First, an orphaned swallow. It was born under my roof and it lost sadly both of its parents, which I discovered and took it down and into my house. Next. Friends of mine brought me a white-collared white swift, which is a beautiful bird of the same family, but considerably larger. And both of these birds are not seed eaters, but meat eaters, which means they catch insects in the air. So the problem here was to find something they would eat that I could go and find for them without having to catch it in the air. And here it comes now, first chumbly. This poor little swallow is an orphan. His or her parents were killed and now we're trying to rescue him with mealworms which he seems to eat and enjoy and that will hopefully make him big and strong. Our little baby swallow is doing great. We've now had him for about six days and he's eating well. He's eating mealworms, which has all the nutrients he needs and which is used to feed birds in the wild as well. So you can see how tame he is now. This is little swallow after a bath looks like a, an ugly duckling, but she's as cute and as lovely as ever, even if she does look a little 
humid here and there. Okay. It has been such an unbelievable experience to care for a little swallow. As I have said earlier, he became an orphan when both parents, sadly, were killed for one reason or another. But Chambolito, as we call him, is doing fine and a very sweet my little baby swallow has now been with us for three weeks he's in good health and today he made a big flight outside he suddenly took off i had never expected that he would be able to do that so we know that now he's practically ready to be released to nature. You've been with us now for almost five weeks and we've done everything to make you big and strong. And now it's time for you to go back where you belong. Darling. Jumbo. Adios. Jumbo! Oh, hi, baby! Here you saw how little Colondrita was able to enter the environment that it was born for. And that was one of the most wonderful moments in my life. Next, you are going to see the story of El Cito. Seeing Eugenia, my wonderful neighbor, feeding a white colored swift who had an accident and having not eaten in 20, no, in 48 hours, he's now gobbling up mealworms like there was no tomorrow. He is beautiful, very large and sadly damaged his wing and that's how he was brought to me. But we will, we will rescue him. Swifts are some of the fastest birds in the world. And they spend 80% of their time in the air, only come down to earth when they are having new chicks. This is Vincito, a white-colored swift who had an accident and was brought to me to rescue. And I rapidly found out that he would enjoy freeze-dried mealworms, which I have acquired from a supplier 
in the U.S. And now he loves them and he gobbles them up. He's just had about non-stop these mealworms for half an hour and he still likes to eat more. Vincito is very tame, very trusty, fully grown, but I think quite young. And uh, we're trying to heal his wing and hopefully he will fly again. Vincito, a white colored swift here in Panama who suffered a damaged wing and we have been given the task of bringing him back to good health and he has now learned to eat freeze-dried mealworms imported from the United States and he has learned to eat them all by himself. In the beginning we hand fed him but now he manages on his own and it's a pleasure to see how he manages. Vincito is totally trustworthy, trusty and very, very sweet, big black eyes. And I certainly hope we can bring him back to where he can go back to nature. Vincito and I were in Valle Escondido in the house of my friends. And here, Vincito is having his or her lunch. She has a great appetite and seems to recover well, has begun to flap its wings and hopefully will soon be able to learn how to fly. It's a great joy for me to have such a friend as Vincito, who is very trusty and does everything to show that she understands what I'm trying to do. Whenever she has to go to the bathroom, she makes it very clear so she won't make a mess. And she will not dirty her own nest, which is the box that I carry her in when she's resting or when I can't have her personally in my hands. I hope tomorrow Monday to be able to contact the German institution that rescues Swifts and find out what they can do for Vincito. Hopefully they can provide us with food that is more suitable than the mealworms that she's eating here. Vincito is on his morning walk today. It is November, uh, December, Thursday, the second or the third, I'm not sure. Eating freeze-dried mealworms and he does like he would do in the air. He grabs them with his beak, throws them up in the air and catches them with his mouth, at least some of them. But he's become very e e efficient at that and seems to thrive on them. See, there he did it. It's a wonderful and loving little bird, so trusty, so patient. And I am doing all I can to get him back to fly in the air where he belongs. Today is Sunday the 5th, the 7th of February, and you're watching Vincito, my white collared swift, having lunch on freeze dried wheat uh, mealworms. And he seems to enjoy them and is doing very well. This is how I want to remember Vincito. It is the last day 
in situ is with me and it's made a big difference to him. Hello again. I hope you enjoyed watching these two successful rescue operations of beautiful little birds. But I don't think anyone can begin to understand the feelings you have when such a thing is turning out the way these two rescuers did. Because you become very attached to these little creatures, working with them, protecting them, feeding them every day, in one case for five weeks, and in the other case for five months. You become attached to them, you bond to them. And to see their understanding of what you're trying to do for them is so heartwarming. In any event, thank you for watching and bye for now.